Yo guys, so today we're going to do a fundamental analysis on Intel. Its current share price right now is $42.78 and its market cap is $180 billion. So as always, let's take a look at the revenue first. You can see in 2014, they had a revenue of 55.8 B and in 2023, they have a revenue of 54.2 B. So a slight decrease from 2014 to 2023. And if we take into account inflation, then it is way lower as well. It did, however, have a very slight growth and it peaked in 2021 at 79B, but also nowhere near the 2x growth I require every seven years. And it seems to me like the company is going to be on a decline just based off of its most recent revenue numbers. Gross profit also seems to be going down even as revenue is going down as well. So it's like double damage to the company's earnings. It is mainly the R&D expenses that has been going up since 2014, 11B in 2014 and 17B in 2022 and in 2023, 16B. Selling general and admin expenses have gone down to 5.6B and it was 8B in 2014. Total operating expenses have also gone up a little bit but the main difference from 2014 and 2023 is the operating income right now at only 31 million versus 15.6B in 2014. We can see that the interest expense is also going up at right around 900 million versus 200 million in 2014. And the earnings from continuing operations right now is just at 1.6B. Revenue per share has gone up to $12.94 versus $11.40. And this is on a lower revenue number of 54B versus 55B. And that is due to the decrease in share count from 4.9B to right now 4.2B. You can see that the company is also paying out less in dividends from 90 cents per share in 2014 to 74 cents per share in 2023. However, it is also insane because the payout ratio right now is at 182%. As you can see, their EPS is only 40 cents and they're paying out 74 cents. And honestly, this tells me that the company's management is not very good because they are trying to please shareholders in the short term and likely taking on debt just to pay out the dividends. Or they could be also selling some shares to pay out dividends. As you can see, the number went up from 4.1B to 4.19B. Total cash and short term investments at 25B right now. Total assets pretty healthy at 191B, which is higher than its market cap of 180 billion it is not common that you see the market cap below the total assets but then again just because its total asset number is very high doesn't mean that the core business itself is doing good and the total assets will eventually deteriorate if the company is not doing good as in the case of intel it seems like it's not earning any money from its operations anymore and i would expect this total asset number to decline if the earnings continue to decline as well. Total liabilities of 81.6B and they used to have a very solid balance sheet with a negative net debt of 7.8B in 2014 but right now they are at a net debt of 23B which is still okay but not as solid as they used to be back in 2014. So now let's take a look at their cash flow. Net income of 1.7B Cash from operations at 11.4B which is still okay but you can see that their levered free cash flow is at a negative 11.8B and their free cash flow per share is at negative $3.40. So those are all the core numbers of Intel Corporation and I believe we can all agree that the company is on a huge decline and whether or not they can turn it around remains to be seen yet. And how the share price went up 40% in the past one year, um, I have no idea why. Because based on the numbers, it doesn't seem like it is doing any good. However, I still think that even a declining company has a price that makes it an undervalued company. However, it is safe to say that at $42.78, it is definitely not a buy and more likely to be a sell. For me, it is very hard to value a company that has numbers all over the place increasing on some years and decreasing on others. However, taking into account that even on its up years, it is still increasing at a very slow rate, I would likely consider this a declining company. And with that said, I would value a declining company at under 7 PE. However, I don't think it is fair to value its earnings at its 2023 numbers of 40 cents. So I will likely give it a more in-between number 
of let's say $1.20 as its earnings and if we give it a 5x multiple then it is at $6 per share. So I know it is quite crazy to say that the company is worth just $6 per share but given how it has declined so much just based on its fundamentals, I would be very cautious to invest into Intel Corporation and it would take it to be $6 per share for me to want to invest in it. And like I said before a couple of times, the valuation you give the company is more of an art and you cannot really pinpoint with accuracy how much the company's fair value is at and it depends on what you believe the company is going to do and how you interpret the numbers. And so if you have your own interpretation of how much the fair value of Intel Corporation is, then do let me know and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.